Hi everybody, I'm going to do another unboxing video. This, as you can tell, is a package from Guitar Fetish. Carry Xavier and Slick Guitars. They were having a pretty good holiday sale. So I said, for that kind of money, how can I not buy one? So I bought one. Without further ado, this is the Slick SL59. Oh, it comes with a little Allen key, little crappy starter cable. Now you're probably wondering why I spend money on a guitar that was so cheap. Well, it's because it was cheap. And how bad can it possibly be? been sitting getting acclimated for the last few hours so I didn't really want to uh, bring it out brass tuning keys brass bridge I, mean, I don't think the frets are brass but they're definitely gold swamp ash p90 this is the intonatable bridge brass I mean Unbelievable. And there it is. The Slick SL59. Aged black ash. Has a bolt on neck. Obviously made in China. Very porous grain. But uh, not a bad feeling guitar. Neck pocket looks nice and tight. We'll see how this goes. Slick guitars. Okay, so the guitar is on the bench. Uh, a couple things to note. The uh, truss rod cover, which is right here, screws were so tight that that one sheared off in the uh, hole. So. I have a broken screw head. Not sure how I'm going to have to get that out, but they were really, really tight. Couldn't believe how tight they were. Uh, the nut, you know, it's uh, hand filed. So, it uh, doesn't look to be too bad. Had a little bit of a bow, so we adjusted that. Um, what else we got to tell you? This bridge, um, is basically down as low as it's going to go right now. So I'm a little concerned because the action's a little higher than I like it. So I'm hoping that it will go a little lower. I know this is intonatable, but from what I can see, it's bottomed out. I could be wrong, but... I think it's bottomed out in there right now. The other thing that's going to be a total nightmare is, if you notice where the screws, not the screws, I mean where the strings go through, um, it's going to be tough to get it through sticking out. Every wraparound bridge that I uh, seem to encounter this with, pickup would either need to be lowered or take this all the way off, put all the strings in, and then do it. It does have set adjustments. Allen keys. I don't know if you can see those. Uh, let's see what else. The back, which is pretty nice. The control cavity is big enough that if you wanted to uh, drill another hole to put a tone in, you could do that, or even a kill switch. Which uh, I'm not sure if that's what I'm going to do at some point. But it's definitely big enough to do that. I'm sure it's the same body as the ones that had the two pickups. So why set up another routing system? It would make no sense. Now I originally bought another pickup to replace this. But I played it last uh, last night. Still let it acclimate. And uh, it's like 9K. It's pretty hot. It sounded pretty good. I did buy a mini humbucker. But 
I might mess with that for a while and keep it in. It all depends on how this whole thing goes. So we have a little weird thing here. This is uh, I'm restringing it, but look how much that moves. I noticed that all these nuts were really loose, so uh, let's take this off and see what the heck is going on here. Because that will not work. That screw came out fairly easy. So that's obviously a massive hole. I wonder why that is so big. Shouldn't that fit in there better? Let's take off another one and see what happens. Well, same size hole. Hmm. Why is that one so sloppy? These look the same. Threaded. Just not threaded good. Well, we'll put them back together and see what's going on here. Because, uh... Well, we'll keep it for now. Remember, these are really cheap guitars, so can't be too critical. All right, well, I'm going to finish putting strings well, on I've got the strings off. I'm going to check this bridge out. I'm pretty sure I can't go any lower with it. But I would like to take it out and at least look at it. But it is below the body, so... I have to get it up out of there so I can check it out. So as you can see, we got some, yes, as long as I've been taking strings out of guitars, I still managed to rip the end of my finger over open. So I'm gonna guess, obviously you have the little Allen keys for intonation purposes, blah, blah, blah. And then you have these, which I'm not sure how they move. So let me see if I can find uh, the Allen keys that came with it and see what happens when you do a little twisty twist. Okay, so you got two Allen keys, so it's a matter of doing both sides, loosening one, tightening the other to shift it back or forward. Okay, it's not a bad setup. They're not tight though, which they probably should be. That was intonated pretty well actually. So I just want to check them and make sure they're all tight. I know I usually speed up and slow down, but some people bitch and moan that I go too fast, so. It's going to be a long ass video. Alright, so there you go. They're nice and tight. They weren't all tight. Like I said, that's a pretty good pickup. Uh, this finish is... It's nothing fancy. It's just like, you know... Unfinished wood. Very porous, grainy feeling. I feel like I'll get a sliver. Not sure why this is all scuffed up. It's supposed to be. Well, I guess they do it to make it look old. I don't know. I mean, it's a $200 guitar that I got for a lot less than that. 
So these will have to go back in, which they kind of fit snug. Surprised how tight they are. Not sure why it's so tight, but maybe it's just a really good fit. I don't know. But obviously they need to be knocked all the way up. So let me find a, a piece of wood or something that I can tap them up with. So I can make sure it's in the right position. I guess that's up all the way. So I won't really know. is that those set screws are below this. So you can't get at them. So it's almost like you'll have to raise it, intonate it, then jam it back in. Sorry if my camera was off. Oh, this seems like it's gonna be a lot more work than that's worth. Frets feel good though. I mean, they are a little rough, sharp, and, you know, they could probably be dressed a little bit, but I don't know if I want to do all that right now. I just want to get some strings on there and uh, see what I can do as far as setting it up. And this is what I was talking about, how this is going to be really hard to do. See, right now it's too low. I can't even get the strings in, which means I got to take it up. basically out to get the strings in it so all that work was for nothing <sighs> so you have to if you're doing a gig and you gotta change strings you're effed might as well put this in the back burner Burner. Make some good firewood though. I know a lot of you guys do reviews online about how good this is, but man. Either somebody's paying you. So if I was to really keep this guitar and really work on it, I think I would route this out more so I can get the strings in and out easier. Because right now I'm really concerned about the, uh, the intonation and how I'm going to adjust it if I have to uh, move these in any way. But why are those so freaking tight, man? Doesn't make sense to me. So that bridge is really effing crooked. Not only that, the post is wiggling all over too. A piece of shit. Piece of shite. I was very excited when I got this because I was like, oh man, this feels pretty solid. And the first screw I removed, sheared off.
among other little quirky things, the tuning peg zeft. Not even sitting in the saddle right. So, I'm not sure where we're going to go with this, but we're going to mess around with it until my other battery dies, I guess. Today I built my first snowman. In about 30 years. It's pretty awesome. Forgot how heavy snow can get. These are Dean Markley strings. They're, uh, they're not bad. They seem to take a little while to stretch though, which kind of drives me crazy. As much as I pre stretch them. Just like they stretch for a couple good playings all the time. But we're not here to talk about Dean Markley strings, are we? I'm sure Dean Markley fans could tell by the blue and black balls. I got blue balls and black balls. Unlike the Deodarios that have the whole rainbow. The rainbow of goodness. But you know what? I got them getting discontinued or whatever the heck. Clearance. A giant box of them for really cheap. So I think it was like three bucks a set or something. So how can I pass it up, right? They totally sucked. I just put them on guitars I don't play much. Oops. Do I? I wonder why that was so weird. I knew that felt weird. I was like, why is that doing that? Get it in the right position. I will say that, uh, I mean, everything about this basically is good. It's just, it's like a couple little weirdo things on here. And I'm really surprised Earl Slick would put his name on something like this, but you know, I'm sure if the price is right. These wobbly tuna pegs driving me crazy. Action's still freaking super high, but we're going to see if we can, uh, maybe the string tension will keep those in place better. Didn't even think of that. What a dumbass. Well, there you go. That kind of helped. But man, that bridge seems awful crooked. Where's that stupid Allen key? I want to put this back a little further while I still can. If it doesn't strip all the tension on it. But it is right on the edge of being too low. And once I sink this a little more, I won't be able to adjust this. So it's going to be chasing my tail for a week here. Can't see shit. Uh. 
half turns aren't getting anywhere. Well, let's just see what happens when I bury this now. Well, there you go. Dumbass. It was better with the strings on there. So I want this all the way down. If I can get it all the way down without shearing anything off. Needs to go lower. For me, anyways. That's getting there. Nice and not in tune. Let's uh, see if we can get it. I do play full step down, so. Who knows, maybe this guitar won't work for that. First thing I want to check right off the bat is the intonation on the string before I go any further. Wow, it's pretty damn close. It's pretty close. So. In all fairness, this is set up to D. E or D dropped the whole step, so. Um, I got the action pretty low right now. So we're going to let it sit overnight. 
Let it get some more acclimated. Then we'll go give it a whirl tomorrow. And I'm all clean shaven. But I got this down lower than I thought I was going to be able to. Uh, it's still high for me, but... Yeah, actually, the nut has a lot of room that it could actually go down more, too. Nut slots could be deeper. Which actually would make the action even lower, so... Maybe we'll mess with that. Still quite a bit of room in between. And when you fret down on the third, there's still quite a bit of play there. So, tomorrow's another day. Hey everybody, back again. Uh, this guitar has been kind of sitting all night. And... Uh, just trying to check out a few things, see how it responded. So the only big drawbacks that I see with this guitar, but you know the truss rod works. I'm as low as I can possibly get the action, so I don't know how well you're going to be able to see that. So I mean that is pretty low, no doubt about it. But here's the biggest problem with this guitar. If you could see, see if I can get more light on it. That string is below the level of the route. All of them are. This is down as low as I can get it. Now it looks like it goes lower on that side than this side, which I'm not sure why. But if you break a string, there's no way you can change that string if you're in a gigging position. So it really needs to happen, which I'll probably end up doing at some point if I actually get this guitar to where I really like it, is this needs to be routed bigger so that you can push the string through, and this will need to be taken a route in. I mean, you got to be able to change strings without taking the bridge off every time, and you can't take this bridge off as low as I have it. So you would have to unloosen this, so you're basically screwing up everything to replace the strings which is not a good design by any way now if you like your action super high you want to play slide guitar great so that's that that's about as good as I think I can get it I mean the nut could probably get cut a little deeper it is hand cut and there is you know quite a bit of space still could get it lower which will actually help the overall action I mean no doubt it'll lower it a little bit I do have a little bit of string buzz where I'm at now so if I cut that nut any lower it's gonna get worse anyhow I'm gonna play it for a little bit you can hear how it sounds hey everybody we're going to do a few little sound samples for you. Um, real basic stuff. Clean through the first channel of the Runt 20 Friedman. strings the high ones I didn't because I had some buzzing I got this action as low as I can get it and uh, I've already noted about the bridge issues but let's uh, let's get some gain going because that's what I play <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
like about this guitar. Like when you're, you have to play. I mean, look. Uh oh. Son of a. Come on. So that's no good. I don't want to be holding a guitar down here. And I definitely don't want to have to be holding it up. So I think if I move this post up here, like right about there, it's probably not going to do it as easy. So that's something I'll probably end up doing if I end up playing this guitar more often. So let me rate this guitar. Out of the box, three. With hours of work and setup, eight. And uh, this bridge is a major issue if you want to change strings. It's not good. It needs to be routed out more so you can get access to it. Unless you like your action super high, now don't forget, this is a $200 guitar that I got on Black Friday sale for a lot less. So, I had every intention to change this pickup out, but this pickup is probably the best thing about this guitar. It really sounds good. I'm shocked at that. Except for all the other issues I've noted throughout this video, this isn't a bad guitar. You know, something that with little time and effort, if you have the skills, you can make play pretty good and beat the hell out of it and not ever have to worry about it. So that's about it for now. See you next time.